Howdy champs, my name is, my name is Moet and uh, people today I'm going to show you how to make an IE only style sheet and uh, what is the scenario in which I'm actually required to do so right so let's see this uh, with an example let me hit on the create new HTML file uh, next up people let me say insert layer objects div tag uh, let me create a class let's say RGBA right let me click on the new CSS rule button uh, and I'm gonna create the new rule inside this document only basically creating an internal or an embedded rule which is fine let me say uh, okay go to the background color and uh, people have a look out here I have the RGBA color model selected in case you don't have it selected you can go out here and select RGBA I'm gonna select the color black but I'm gonna change the transparency to a 50% so I'm gonna come out here change that one to a 0.5 so the color black and 50% transparency let me go to the category box let's have a width of 400 and a height of 400 pixels let me say okay and okay once again so uh, so far people what I've done is I've actually created a div or a division uh, with the 50% black background color right uh, let me give it a title of IE hack it's actually an IE hack that I'm uh, that we're gonna work with let me save it uh, let's say IE hack let's say save right so uh, we have a Deborah div division which has 50% uh, background uh, color which is actually black okay moreover let me go to modify let's let's say page properties and uh, click out here in front of background image browse for the uh, image that I want to be used as the background image for my body which is this one it's a big image people let me say okay and okay once again let's have a look inside different browsers so let me go to Chrome first let's have a look inside Chrome so people as you can clearly see the div of the division is actually transparent uh, transparent because we have used the RGBA color model which means that the, the background image uh, for the body is uh, shown through the div okay uh, it'll work in all the browsers people but um, there's an issue with IE uh, and it's so many times it actually happens that IE creates a is actually a, the trouble creator is the culprit as we'll soon see so people have a look out here uh, that uh, in i9 everything is just fine but if i press f12 on my keyboard and change the browser mode from here to let's say an ie8 uh, the div disappears or even an ie7 uh, the div is no longer there so this is uh, a case of uh, you know uh, the uh, ie actually uh, creating some trouble for us so how do i tackle that let's see that People, what I can do is I can create uh, a style sheet only for uh, Internet Explorer 8 and 7 uh, or 6, right? So anything which is not IE9, I, I can have a, a separate uh, CSS file for that. Let's see how we can do that. So uh, let, just after the title tag, I can just hit enter like this and paste this code. Now let me be in the code view for some time and let's examine this code. Now the code reads like if LTIE9 it's actually a comment people as you can clearly see this is the way you need to write it it says if LTIE9 it means if the um, IE version is less than IE9 then I would want uh, this document this HTML CSS document to be linked up with another CSS file which is IEHack.CSS that I'm going to create in a moment let me copy this up okay so for other browsers, uh, whatever is inside the style tag will work, but for IE, whatever I'm going to define now will work. Uh, so let's see what exactly uh, I mean when I say that. So let's say file new. So uh, basically I'm creating an, uh, a CSS file only for IE 8 and 7, 6 and lower, right? So let me click on the new CSS file page type not the HTML type page type uh, let me click on the create uh, button let me save it up first so save give it the name uh, ihack.css let's say save uh, I'm gonna go back to this file I'm gonna copy the rule this one 
okay I'm gonna paste it out here like this okay I don't want the width and height to be uh, different for IE so I'm gonna delete that but instead of saying background color I'm gonna say background image I already have an image ready I'm gonna browse for that image is inside my this folder which is this image it's a transparent image people since uh, the you know the transparent colors won't work in IE 8 and 7 I'm gonna use this uh, background PNG image let me say okay right I'm actually done let me say save all and let's check it out in IE this time so preview it up in IE uh, right so people I'm in the browser mode this pop-up or the you know the, the 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 options at the bottom can be brought up by pressing F12 on the keyboard So now I'm gonna change the mode to let's say IE8 and everything works just fine for IE7 uh, perfect too. so people as you can clearly see out here you can have a separate uh, CSS file created for Internet Explorer um, people out here this is the criteria or the filter so if I were to create a CSS file only for IE I would replace this by if IE if it were for IE or greater than 6 then I would write if instead of LT which is less than I'll uh, use the word GT greater than uh, IE6 okay so uh, or if I were to have a you know a separate CSS file for IE6 and a separate CSS file for uh, IE7 I would say if IE7 uh, then uh, have uh, IE hack 7.css or 6.css so I would end up creating uh, two CSS files in which case two separate uh, CSS files for separate versions of IE so this filter of the criteria can actually change depending on which version of IE you wanna you wanna uh, affect so you can see people it is not at all difficult to uh, to uh, hack IE in this manner uh, completely legit uh, and uh, get the desired result so people I hope you uh, enjoy it and like uh, enjoy this tutorial and I would keep coming back for more you have a good day guys bye bye Peace.